Hi, welcome to the 8th tutorial on creating a virtual cluster using Scientific Linux and Oracle VirtualBox. In this tutorial I'm just going to configure the nodes for the Ganglia server we set up in the previous video. So first off let's just go back to the home directory then make a folder where we can quickly share the configuration files we edited earlier. So just make the ganconf and then let's just go into this folder we will cp slash etc rc.d init.d and gmont into this fo current folder and cp slash usr slash local slash etc gmont.conf into the current folder okay that should be all we need to do here. So SSH into node zero one. Uh, since we already downloaded the uh, EPL and RPMS repositories in the previous video, we're just going to copy them over from the head node. So CD slash TMP and then SCP master slash tmp slash star dot rpm oh, into the current folder so that should have copied both the files and then we can rpm minus uvh remy epoch and let it, let it do its thing so just go back to the home directory and then we need to do a few yum installs again so it's apr rrd to libconfuse pcre expat gcc Zlib devel and make. So I'm going to let that run quickly and then I'll get back to the video. Okay, the dependencies completed installation. So let's just add the Ganglia user to the nodes as well. And just talk up. Oh. Oopsie. Just lock the password for the Ganglia user. So we will need to install the Ganglia service as well. We already compiled it in this same folder as the um well on the head node. So we can just say make install. Okay, that's done. So make directory minus p slash for the ganglia rds and then join it for the ganglia user. Mector slash usr slash local slash etc slash conf dot d and then we need to go back into the cancon folder and copy the gmond.conf over to e no, usr local etc and cp the gmond file over to etc rc.d init.d let's just have the service restart on 
uh, server restart and we should be done service gmon start okay so if we just give this a minute or two uh, we should see the node zero one at the drop down ah, there we go as well as if we scroll down a bit it will show node zero one here as well so let's just do the exact same thing for node two okay so let's just do the same thing for node two so ssh node zero two the fun thing about sharing the re root folder over all of the nodes, well, the home folder over the nodes, is you share a, a command history. So if I type up, you will see the last things I typed on node 01. So we can search for, well, okay, well, it's not necessary for the first one, so just cd temp, then search for the last SCP we did and execute that search for the last RPM command and just execute that search for the last yum command uh, I to do these searches I just con uh, press control R and then type the word I'm searching for and to get the next result I just press control R again until I find the one I'm looking for so I'm just going to pause the video until this is done. Next step is to uh, add the user. So just user add minus M. That's a capital M by the way. Ganglia and user mod minus L Ganglia. Just lock down the password and then CD just cd first and then cd ganglia make install cd make direct directory minus p slash var slash lib slash ganglia slash rrds and then show in this directory for the ganglia user and then make the directory for the configuration file slash usr local etc conf.d and then cd to ganconf cpgmon.conf to etc no 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 not etc usr slash local etc and then the cp the gmont file to etc rc.d init.d okay so just check config the gmont service on and then service gmont start so let's just give this a minute again, well a few seconds, and now we should see node 2 there as well, go down a bit, master node 01, node 02. You'll see here the uh, amount of processes in the cluster jump from 2 to 4 where we installed the node 1 and then from 4 to 2, four, ah, sorry, 4 to 6 where we installed the second one. Well, there we go. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.